All right, Twitter and the FTC. So, ah, God. Um, you know, the FTC is another one of those regulatory agencies that has immense power and immense control, and, and how much it exerts that power and exerts that control really depends on the chairman. And, and right now we have a, a chairwoman, Lina Khan, who is a particularly nasty, uh, uh, you know, former fascist, um, uh, particularly, uh, particularly nasty uh, in the sense that she believes that uh, everything should be controlled from above, everything should be controlled uh, by the state, uh, she's a real central planner. She's a big believer in, in in breaking up big tech and using antitrust to go after them. And anyway, there's a story out uh, that just came out from a Judiciary Committee uh, panel on the, kind of the weaponization of the different agencies about the FTC targeting Elon Musk. And it, and, and it's interesting because um, the Wall Street Journal makes the case that Republicans pay attention. Because it is Josh Hawley, the senator, a Republican senator, who has uh, argued argued for a while now that the FTC should have more power. The, F the FTC should be given more power to control media, particularly social media platforms. Beware of what you ask for. Beware of what you ask for, right? She is a, a Republican, right, a Republican, um, advocating for more power to the FTC and has been for a long time, using, with the hope that, of course, they dominate a negative point to people at the FTC and then the FTC gets to do their bidding. But when a Democratic, uh, when a dem Democratic president is in power, the FTC gets to do his bidding. All right, so it turns out the FTC has targeted Elon Musk uh, and his takeover of Twitter at the behest of kind of progressives, as you'd expect. Um, you've already probably read about a lot of this, but what came out, um, what came out uh, to yesterday, I guess, uh, which was uh, particularly interesting and, and scary, is that the FTC, and I'm reading here from a Wall Street Journal um, editorial, the FTC wants to identify all journalists granted access to company records, this is Twitter company records, including, quote, net nature of access granted each person, unquote. It is also asked, uh, I'm continuing to quote from the Wall Street Journal, it is also asked if Twitter had conducted background checks on the journalists, among other things. So, he, so, so again, this is the Wall Street Journal. Here we have a federal agency demanding that a private company disclose its interactions with a free press, including how much it snooped on those reporters. I'll just be clear, none of this is the business of government. The government has no business in uh, figuring out what reporters did or didn't do, private companies did or didn't do. There's no argument of fraud here. So what is the government intervening here? This is a, a, a clear potential violation of, uh, you know, free speech, but this is just, just government snooping around in the files of uh, Twitter, trying to find bad stuff, trying to identify, quote, bad journalists. For what? None of this is relevant. None of this is the government's business. But this is what happens when you give regulatory agencies, agencies of the executive branch, basically unlimited power or undefined unlimited power. Where, where, where the, the, the limitation in the power might be in some bureaucrat's head. Some bureaucrat might believe that these agencies had, have, are supposed to be limited. But effectively, effectively, they are unlimited. There is no, whoops, looking at the wrong cable. I'm trying to connect the cable with a plug. And, all right, not going well. Yep, wrong one. Another time. All right, um, it's scary. Scary kind of stuff happening, and, and this is just one agency, one little item. Uh, the FTC is doing a lot of nastiness. There's a lot of nastiness that has to do with Twitter. Uh, you know, the left is using the fact that they have the machinery of power to go after their political opponents, uh, just as Republicans do. I think the left is better at this, though. 
but Republicans are getting better, and, and Josh Hawley is kind of leading the charge at getting better at using the machinery of government, including the various alphabet agencies to go after one's enemies. Thank you for listening or watching The Iran Brooks Show. If you'd like to support the show, we make it as easy as possible for you to trade with me. You get value from listening. You get value from watching. Show your appreciation. You can do that by going to iranbrookshow.com support, by going to Patreon, subscribe star, locals, and just making a appropriate contribution uh, on any one, of those, uh, any one of those channels. Also, if you'd like to see the Iran Book Show grow, please consider sharing our content. And of course, subscribe. Press that little bell button right down there on YouTube so that you get an announcement when we go live. And for you, those of you who are already subscribers and those of you who are already supporters of the show, thank you. I very much appreciate it.